so what is up everyone this is Karen here welcome back to tech Karen youtube channel this is the oneplus os which is oneplus nord os a portier rom for the redmi note 9 as redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9 pro max and poco m2 pro this is a flagship os experience and yes it is this is from oneplus node and the best part is it's actually quite fluid i'm using for some time i didn't got any kind of major issues no lags nothing of course there might be some bugs because it's a porty room we don't have the face unlock and some little bit minor bugs available here and there of course if you are a user who using this device as your primary device it's not recommended to install these ports on a device but yes if you still want to experience something new something different this night this might not be a bad choice too in my case i'm using under my redmi note 9 pro which is kirtana and same process same device and that is the same with all those other three devices redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9 s redmi note 9 pro max and poco m2 pro it's based on android version 11 it's not android 10 so if it is android version 11 which means oxygen os 11 so all the oxygen os 11 features are present with the may 2021 security patch the best part is what i I have noticed after installing this build on my device is the smoothness. Yes, it's quite smooth. Honestly, I didn't God, I didn't thought that it might be this smooth as I'm using Poco X3 in my other hands with 120Hz refresh rate. But this 60Hz is honestly quite, quite smooth. Of course, it has some extra things. For example, you have the option to hide the notch if you want to. It's just up to you. Some users don't want to hide the notch. Some users want to hide the notch. The option is present and also the option is working quite good. It has all those features. For example, the vision comfort, the screen calibration, etc. All these things are working perfectly fine, at least for now what I thought so far. Also, it comes with this cyber punguri. So, yes, it's quite good. Another thing which I noticed, the ROM is pre-rooted, so if you install this build, the Magisk will already be installed, you simply need to reboot your device once, but you will see the safety net API error, which means you will not be able to pass the safety net status by default and not be able to use the banking apps on your device, but yes, we have other choices available for you, use the latest Magisk 23, use the safety net fix, and if you still don't know the process, I have a dedicated video on that one too, so make sure to give it a try, and then the safeness status will be passed for you so you'll be able to use banking apps on it so of course it's not sure but yes this might be the thing i haven't tried i was not able to use the banking apps i didn't want you to use the banking app so that's why i haven't tried to pass the safeness status i just want to let you know that by default the safeness status is not passed also if you move on to the default launcher you have the cyberpunk icon pack pre-installed of course it comes with the cyberpunk theme available for you so you no need to worry about anything as cyberpunk theme is pre-installed pre-included it's default it, it is already included which means you don't require any kind of internet connection to apply this theme on your device let me just show you by going into settings and here we have this display settings sorry we have customization section where you have these options available for you theme we have the default Preferred one, which means if you don't want to use the cyberpunk themes, of course it's a good choice. I also don't like cyberpunk a lot, but yes, you have the cyberpunk theme option available for you. These OnePlus late fonts are quite good. Also, let me just show you one more thing. If you apply the cyberpunk theme, the dark mode will be disabled, which means the dark mode will be enabled automatically. You will not be able to. You will not be able to disable it unfortunately but yes in the default theme of course you can enable or disable the dark mode and else things as always the face unlock is still not available fingerprint is working i haven't used it i don't use it on my device mostly but face unlock is dead as always so not be able to use the face unlock on a device else things are same if we talk about the battery stats the battery ui seems to be very good i always love this oxygenous kind of ui i try to play battlegrounds india honestly speaking i got some lags there so that's why i am not able to show you the gameplay i got some lags i'm not sure about the heating issues but the lags were there it got some frame drops and if you talk about the battery stats 10 percent per hour isn't that bad of course but yes i haven't used it for much time but if you use it you might get and in gaming it it lost a lot of battery so not sure but yes it's up to you if you want to install this os it's just good enough it's not good enough it's up to your preference up to your opinion Geekbench scores etc seems to be good enough 5, 5, 9 and 1, triple 5 these are the scores you get Geekbench everything else is same link for this build in the description I'm not going to share with you the installation installation is same like the other custom rooms so this is all thanks for watching goodbye
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air